Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad, and happy Thursday. Welcome back to our show. To start it off, we're going to have a story on a local surf competition as well as Peyton live with cross country. Cole, what else are we going to have? That's right. We're also going to have Tava live with freshman football as well as Landon live on the magic window. That's right. So let's get it started. I'm Leah Poteet. And I'm Cole Lohmeyer. And CHS TV starts right now. Next up, we have a story produced by Grady and Isaiah about a local competition who got their groove back recently after being shut down by COVID. Let's take a look. My name is Ulysses Thomas, AKA Yuli. I am the producer of the event and the visionary. Uh, better, I guess title would be a Swiss Army Knife. I do everything. Whatever we need to do, we get it done. Being the Swiss Army Knife of an event this big is difficult, but especially now when it's making its big return, expectations will be very high about how good it will be. So uh, our last event was 2019 and we stopped because of a thing called COVID and then the state was really backlog on all the events uh, and then we started back uh, this year in 2023. But um, just a lot of things that go, it takes about a year to plan a, a great event, not just our thing is the world's greatest event. It's not about just a surf contest. The world's greatest event has a much deeper meaning than surf competition. Dave Beach Classic is a, it's, it's a tribute to Banny Caps, who's a friend of ours that passed away. And back in the days, we started this thing called State Beach Contest, and we basically did them underground. No right, permits, don't... we just showed up and had fun on the weekend. All the boys would get together. And Banny would actually win them all, and he won the last one, and then uh, years passed. And uh, we still missed him. You know, he touched everybody in this community in many ways. And um, we decided to put an event. And for me, it wasn't about surfing content. Uh, it was about bringing the community together and basically paying a tribute to our friend, Banny Caps. Bringing the community together is what they did. And they really aren't joking when they say it's the world's greatest event. Well, it's the world's greatest event. It's not just a contest, it's the world's greatest event because we have everything that you ever want. We have the most beautiful beaches in the world. We have, uh, we're here at Tamarack Beach, which was Banny's favorite break. We have uh, free food. Plus, it's everybody from Carlsbad, and Carlsbad is number one worldwide. Reporting for CHS TV with videographer Isaiah Wayland, I'm Grady Kunoth. Thank you, Grady and Isaiah. 
Today there is a JV tennis game at home versus San Marcos at 3.30 p.m. Show up and support our Lancers. Science Olympiad is a perfect club to join if you're interested in science, networking, and boosting your college applications. If you're interested in joining and miss a club fair, please go to room 3110 on Tuesday, September 26th at lunch. The 2023 to 2024 Science Olympiad season will begin in early October and end with the regional tournament in early March. Now we have Peyton live with cross country. What's up, Peyton? Thank you, Cole. I'm here with the cross country team to talk about their season. So, Miles, you guys are in the beginning of your season. How has it been so far? It's been really good. We've seen a lot of improvement across the board. A lot of our uh, underclassmen are trying to get to that 20 minute mark, but we've also seen some closer to 16 minutes. So I think we have a really good shot at CAF come November. Yeah, that's awesome. And Emmy, what have you guys been doing differently to work hard this season? Um, we've just been working on hills, prepping for the more hillier races towards the end of the season. Yeah, that's great. And Maddie, what motivates you to do your best? Yeah, definitely knowing that there's always someone out there running longer, harder, performing better. That really motivates me to keep going. Yeah, that's awesome. And what is everyone's goals for this next upcoming meet? Uh, just to do well. I really hope as a team we can place top three. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, our girls team is just hoping to place high at leagues. Definitely want our junior boys to be able to come out on top and beat every other team. Yeah, that's awesome. And good luck to you guys. And any shout outs? Uh, shout out Levitt, period one. Rob Dog. Period two AP Psych and the fastest man on earth, Kane Evans. And shout out, period one, yes I can. And I'm going to send it back to Leia. Thank you, Peyton. Planning for the 2023 CUSD College and Career Fair is underway. The counseling department is planning the event that will take place right here at CHS, spanning across both gyms and the quad. Over 100 college and career representatives from across the nation will be in attendance to share about opportunities they have to offer for students of Carlsbad. Please save the date for Thursday, October 5th from 6 to 8 p.m. All CUSD students and their families are welcome. Students, one-day Chromebooks will not be available today. Please remember to bring your fully charged Chromebook to school every day. Now we have Layla live with Daybreak. Take it away, Layla. Hi, Lancers. I'm here with Daybreak Club. So when do you guys meet and what do you do? We meet every Thursday at lunch in room 8205, and we just hang out with our friends. We have a guest speaker come, and we just have a really good time. Oh, nice. So have you guys had any recent events? Yeah, so actually last Sunday we had our future night. It was like the biggest event of the year. We had Becky Johnson. She gave us a great word, and we're just hoping to see a lot of you guys at Daybreak every Sunday. Sounds fun. So how would someone join? You can start by just showing up to club, get connected, follow us on Instagram, daybreakyouth underscore CHS. Uh, just talk to any of us or the leaders, and we'll invite you to all the Sunday stuff and get you all connected. Got it. Any shout outs? Shout out Banks, Cam, and Graves. Yes, I can, period four. Shout out CFJ. Awesome. Now I'll send it back to Cole. Thank you, Layla. AP students and families, exam registration for the May 2024 AP exams open on September 8th for CHS. Deadline to register for exams is October 13th, 2023. Since there's no home game this Friday, Donna Drive has a show for your Friday night. It's at Soma San Diego and all ages are welcome. Tickets are $15 and for more info, check out Donna Drive's Instagram. Now we have Tava standing by live on the video wall with a couple of players from our Frosh football team. Tava? What's up, Carlsbad? I'm here with freshman football to talk a little bit about their next game. So when and where is your next game? Ramona, today at 5. And how have you guys been preparing? Uh, we've been practicing a lot, working on our game plan. And JJ Woods, what is the game prediction? I'm going to say 47-0. You know, we've been putting in that work. I think we got it. Any shout-outs? JJ Woods and Drew Cummings. Uh, Miss Livingstone, period two, and JJ Woods. Uh, Will Ferg and JJ Woods. Thanks so much for coming on. Now I'm going to send it back to Cole at the desk. Thank you, Wyatt Taba. Attention juniors and seniors, college rep visits begin next Tuesday, September 26th. We will have representatives from college and universities across the nation right here at CHS to host small group meetings where they will share all about their organizations and what they have to offer. College rep visit will take place through Tuesdays through Fridays, continuing through the first week of November. You can view the full list of all college visits and sign up for visits by logging on to your Naviance account. See Ms. Blunk in the counseling office if you have any questions. CHS Interact Club is beginning their book drive starting this week. There will be boxes in the English classrooms where you can bring any extra books you have around your homes or books you have already finished. This event will end on Friday, October 6th. Join the Remind for more details. Text 2024-CHSIC to 81010. The Yarn Punks is a new club on campus that is for anyone who is interested in crocheting or learning how to crochet. The club will meet every Tuesday starting on October 3rd at lunch in room 3203. Join the Remind by texting at Yarn Punk to 81010 or follow at Seabad Yarn Punks. 
Our football teams have been playing incredible this season, and freshman reporter Brody is live at the football field to go more in depth. Take it away, Brody. What is up, Carlsbad? I'm here at the field to give you a football update. To start off, we have our freshman team who are undefeated through their first five games. Their defense is playing very well, not allowing a single point so far this season. They play today, 5 p.m. away at Ramona. For JV, they play Friday, September 29th, away at Mission Hills. They are currently 3-0. For varsity, they play the same Friday as JV, which is the 29th, away at Mission Hills. For the home game, it'll be October 6th, here at Poway at 7 p.m. That theme will be pink. Make sure you come out for that, Carlsbad, and I'll send it back to Cole. Thanks for that, Brody. Now we have Landon live on the Magic Window. What's up, Landon? Thank you, Cole, and yes, I'm Landon Miller, here to tell you guys about a pretty notable story that has happened recently based at Chester County Prison. Now this story, highlights a prisoner that just escaped from prison about two weeks ago and his name is Danello Cavalenti here in this white t-shirt kind of shimmying up this wall. Now let me give you some backstory on Danello. He was convicted and uh, tried and his trial came out to the conclusion that he would spend uh, the rest of his life in prison in Pennsylvania which does not give out the death penalty which is very important because he did murder his ex-girlfriend in front of her two young children. Now some may think that uh, he should be put to death for this, but in Pennsylvania they don't have the de death penalty, so he will spend the rest of his life behind bars. Him knowing this decided that it would be a good idea to try and escape from prison as soon as the guards weren't looking. Now the guard that's behind the security camera footage here, which you can't see, was on his phone and he has since been fired, but Danello saw this and decided to make his escape. He shimmied up this wall, got onto the roof of the prison, which there was no like barrier between this wall and the roof. He kind of just shimmied up and then was on his way. He ran across the roof, jumped into a barbed wire fence and crawled through the barbed wire fence and then he made his attempt to get free. Now, he was on the run for about two weeks. This is a photo of him from the front and a photo of him from the back. He was on the run for two weeks. He stole a truck. He, there was a 22 caliber rifle in the truck. He stole from grocery stores. Um, food and water to make sure he was able to survive and he said quote once he had been captured that he was either within the next 24 hours going to travel to Canada or Puerto Rico. Now this is very interesting because authorities caught him on the exact two week mark and two weeks is a long time so the community of Pennsylvania must have been really at harm during this time period because if there's a murder on the loose you're not going to have a sense of security so my heart goes out to all the people in Pennsylvania and they must have had a rough time with that. Now moving on, his capture resulted in him being in a pile of wood chips with his 22 caliber rifle next to him. He had been very well hidden, so authorities were really uh, had a rough time getting to him. They used a thermal gun to seek him out. Uh, it had been two weeks of looking for him and they finally found him. Then a canine dog came in, bit him, made sure that authorities, he wouldn't run from authorities. This is him once he had been incarcerated once again. Uh, the time he will spend in prison will be extended, although he already had a life sentence, so he will spend the rest of his life behind bars, assuming he doesn't get out. One thing to note is that prison escapes are very rare and they don't happen very often, especially since the security of prisons are very well done nowadays. So this isn't likely to happen again, and the prison where he was incarcerated uh, is going to up their security based on the situation, and that guard who was on his phone will be fired. So this won't happen again and it doesn't happen very often. So just keep that in mind. There's nothing to worry about, but this did happen and it's pretty interesting. So now I'm gonna send it back to Cole. Thank you for all that information, Landon. Now we check out tomorrow's story on an important event that brings the community together. The first instrument I learned was guitar. I never really wanted to play, and my mom like saw it, I guess, and then she was like, "I want, I want my son to do that," and I was like, "I guess so." Look out for that story tomorrow. Boys volleyball will be hosting open gyms on Mondays from now until November. The first one will be this Monday from 7 to 9 p.m. All following open gyms will be from 6 to 8 p.m. Yes, and all levels are welcome. Please contact Coach Tomkinson if you have any questions. Best Buddies is also having a meeting today at lunch. We will be having a chalk competition in between the Science Building and the 4000 Building. Free Spread the Word t-shirts will be provided to anyone who shows up. Make sure to wear this shirt to our match party on October 12th. Make it a great day, Carl. Should you be putting on your helmet? Come on, Jake. You know it's not going to be fun that way. It might not be that fun, but do you really want to get hurt? All right, fine. See that car up there? It's backing up. It's going to hit us, Jake. Yeah, I told you to stop. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was really close. It's great that you know the rules of the road, but we can't rely on other drivers to follow the rules, too. 
It's kind of like we play our own parts. Yeah, I never thought of it like that. 